Well, everyone, today we're going to be talking about a brand new rumor related to Switch 2 that actually ties back into some old reports, a Nintendo patent, and uh, some other stuff. Now, again, we're calling this a rumor. Rumor's in the title. We're not sitting here pretending this is any sort of leak or even possibly... Uh, legit it could be true of course this very well could be true but it kind of falls in the trust me bro and we wouldn't even be covering it if there wasn't already some precedent set by a former nintendo employee who still works with nintendo but beyond that uh if it wasn't set by a precedent with nintendo's own patents uh because of that it makes this a very interesting thing and something to still consider especially when we consider that the leaked stuff we saw with the leaked images of the prototype wasn't a final unit it's a prototype so there could be some changes and differences between that and the final unit so we're gonna go ahead and dive into this rumor it comes over from the gaming leaks and rumors subreddit and again very trust me bro stuff grain of salt thing but very interesting to think about and it's gameplay applications that being said folks i want to thank you so much for being there if you're enjoying all the latest rumors leaks news around nintendo switch 2 and other nintendo stuff when we actually get that nintendo news go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers in fact maybe let's make a smaller goal let's try to get to 140,000 subscribers before the end of the year that would be really really awesome let's go ahead and dive into this we have this post over here on the gaming leaks and rumors reddit and uh, i originally saw this over on nintendo life why they were posting about this i'm not sure but maybe for the same reason i think it's interesting to talk about so it said i held a switch 2 shell i saw last week's 3d model leak and i believe it was either fake or outdated because it was missing the new shoulder buttons and this comes from adjacent adjunct who i looked at his history he has, doesn't have a ton of posts but he's been around on reddit for a while I don't, it doesn't really add to credibility, but let's just see what he said. Hello, I have a small piece of exciting information I want to share regarding Switch 2. For obvious reasons, I can't give any info about what I do that led to me handling the prototype because it would jeopardize not just me, but my colleagues as well, except obviously that it involves a direct Nintendo relationship. Besides, my info is very small overall, yet very exciting, because I think this is new information and not something I've ever seen a game company do before, and he's been gaming since the original Nintendo Entertainment system days as so as the title mentioned i held a switch 2 that didn't have any electronics in it so no like main board memory it, it didn't turn on it was a dummy for reference use visually the quality looked like a ready for retail product as it didn't look 3d printed or sloppy there was no spots indicating any ports at all on the model nor vent holes for that matter so literally this is just a you know, hold in your hand model. So I can't comment on the validity of a second USB-C port. I've seen the leak 3D models that came out recently. I could believe they were potentially a real one at one point if they were older mockups and outdated, which October 2023 is before mass manufacturing, so that could be true. But it's pretty hard to say since it's mostly just a bigger switch. It's not exactly hard to guess what it'll look like. That leak was lacking the main difference everyone immediately noticed. Now, here's the cool part. The shoulder buttons could spin. I sat there playing with it in my hands and staring at it for like two or three straight minutes before moving on. Spinning these wheel-like things in my fingers because it was so strange but satisfying. It reminds me somewhat like a mouse wheel where it spins as you run your finger along it but still clicks like a button. Also, these still clicked in like L and R do. Each step of the rotation made a satisfying tick feeling in your fingertips as it moved like a mouse wheel again, but a very heavy one that takes a bit of force to make move. Otherwise, they were sturdy enough to not spin when clicking the buttons in. They weren't like normal wheels because they were not circular shaped. They were more squared off like the current Switch controllers shape is. Instead, it felt kind of like a rubber material type band that was over a track that allowed it to spin. To help visualize, the best comparison I can think of that people see every day is somewhat like a conveyor belt at stores during checkout. I guess this lets it have that rectangular shape and not be a huge circle internally. I'm personally excited to see what Nintendo does with this. Now, again, this is still just a trust me, bro. There's no sourcing on this. He is the source. Uh, and, you know, trust me, bro stuff is obviously hard to trust people. But this isn't the first time we've seen 
uh, this kind of idea pop up at Nintendo now. He notes that it's not exactly a scroll wheel, but if we head on over here to Venture Beat, we see that new Nintendo patent reveals scroll wheel shoulder buttons, and you'll see that they had this mechanism in place for a scroll wheel at one point in the Nintendo patent, and this patent was obviously related to Nintendo Switch at one point here. And you can see this patent coming back, but maybe they went with a different design than this actual scroll wheel. And the thing is, this isn't the first time this has been brought up. If you actually go over to uh, Masahiro Sakurai's video here, you'll note here that, hey, he talked about this idea of a scroll wheel as well. And he's been pitching this idea to Nintendo over and over and over again. So it's actually pretty wild when we think about this has been an idea Sakurai has been pitching. This is an idea Nintendo has been considering. And now here we are with Nintendo possibly implementing a similar function, but in a flatter style, a conveyor belt style, which might explain why it was a bit harder to move, but it's also a bit harder to move. So they don't want people to like slip and move it unintentionally while they're clicking it in. I do think that a conveyor belt style could work. It is not something we see often in mouses. A mouse wheel is a mouse wheel. They don't really need to rethink the wheel with that. There's plenty of room for it, but uh, it is to me really, really fascinating. And Sakurai obviously here just uh, highlights a bunch of use cases for it, such as quick selection. Think about Echoes of Wisdom and some of the annoyance we have in like going to the sub menu and, and selecting different Echoes. How much faster that could be with just a scroll wheel type design. That to me uh, would make things really, really easy to use. Uh, it could really help with inventory management. And I'm sure there's a whole bunch of unique gameplay ideas Nintendo could come up with. And also, this is a very Nintendo-like idea because look, with this whole Nintendo thing going on uh, with this concept, Nintendo would find a unique way to use it, but it doesn't make it not usable as a standard button. So it would still be an L and R button. So you would still have your standard controls, but there's just this additional functionality should games want to use it. It could also help with menu navigation in the UI. It can help with eShop navigation. And so much more. Obviously, you can tell all my ideas for use of this are literally navigation based, right? Because uh, that's what Sakurai presented forward. And that's what I think makes the most sense. So to me, I think that we need to focus in a lot on this idea that this is at least possible. And while we had that patent before with the actual scroll wheel, it's just notable right now that while it's, we're not talking about a scroll wheel here, we're talking more about like a conveyor belt style, that that would be an evolution. Normally when patents go public, they're not the final designs. If Nintendo goes with that idea, it's not going to look like the patent. Well, this would be a case where they had a patent for a scroll wheel button and instead of them going with a scroll wheel button they decided to make it more like a conveyor belt button which has the exact same functionality but might just fit in a smaller package so i do find this to be really really interesting i obviously worry about durability with this if it is conveyor belt style can stuff get stuck on it like one reason that scroll wheels are so popular is like you can't really get grime in it to get it stuck whereas i kind of worry with a conveyor belt style maybe you could get grime in it then again maybe it's not necessarily you can bear about the guy was just trying to give us an idea of how to describe it it might not actually be designed that way maybe it is still somehow some sort of strange circle magic voodoo device that nintendo has come up with i have no idea uh again this is just a rumor and like all rumors that should be taken with a heavy dose of salt uh, i don't know if this is happening but you know what hopefully the system is revealed this month revealed sooner than later and then we won't have to speculate on if this is a real thing we'll just know because this would be something that would differentiate the system massively from the original switch we always talk about how how could Nintendo innovate a Switch 2 that feels like an iterative design? This feels like one of those ways that would be iterative. You are adding literal brand new control functionality to a system. That is, yes, amazing and awesome and would be a nice evolution for Nintendo. I think that this makes the kind of sort of sense that the dual sense made for playstation where they added in the really fine motors and, and, and you know you have like the the the, the powered uh you know, the, the resistance on the other L and R buttons and stuff. I really think that this is just like one of those natural evolutions that makes a lot of sense. So I hope that Nintendo goes forward with it. I have some hopium, but there's also a patent. There's also Sakurai talking about it. Clearly it's something Nintendo has been playing around with. So I feel like, hey, if this rumor pops up like this, it's at least worth considering. Also, if you guys think way back, 
This is this is an old school Switch Two rumor reference. You guys remember the person who supposedly had a model, the whole uh, TA agent thing, the flight agent thing, where they checked him at security and they opened the thing and it looked like a uh, Nintendo device controller that had scroll wheels. That's where we first heard this rumor ages ago and that person even provided their little t their little uh, badge their security badge which they probably shouldn't have done but the point is that story still stands as this possibly being an early nintendo prototype you know two plus years ago so we have that rumor now you got this rumor you got the patent you toss in sakurai and before you know it there's just a lot of things sort of adding up to keeping this at the forefront of our minds before switch 2 is revealed that this might actually have made it in the final design or not. I guess we'll have to wait and see. That's the fun of talking about rumors, though. Would you be excited by this design? Do you think it could work? Do you think they would go more with a wheel? Do you think they went with a conveyor belt style? Do you think there's some other way they can do this that I'm not thinking about? Again, I'm not an engineer. There might be a different way to make this that just has that description but doesn't actually function that way. I don't know, but I am glad you're here. I'm glad that you, I'm here, and I'm glad to bring this forward to you guys for our first video in the month of October. Thank you so much for tuning in everyone and I will catch you in the next video.